everyone welcome back to my channel well this is my first video i have filmed i filmed a video before this but i wasn't happy with it so i'm just gonna refilm it because there's no point putting a video up that i don't like and i'm not happy with you can already tell by the title i'm gonna be doing a little no makeup makeup look like what i would wear on like an everyday type of basis like what i would wear if i don't want to like go full glam and also i just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my first video it means a lot to me that people wanted to watch and were sharing it and stuff so thank you so much for the support um i'll leave my instagram and stuff like that down below if you just want to go follow that and if you're new hello welcome I'd love it if you stick around and subscribe. I feel like everyone's like into that now, like no makeup, makeup, because it's just like, you don't want to be caked, especially during summer. This is a good summer makeup, or like if you're like away, I know we're not really going away, but you can wear it in your garden. If it's sunny, you can wear it to the beach, you can wear it, you know, anywhere. So yes, I'm gonna show you how I get my no makeup makeup look. Yeah, so I do soap brows. I use the Pira soap, a clear soap. One, and uh, that's actually full of water. It's literally, I, people use setting spray. I'm like, I'm not gonna waste setting spray on the soap. So I'm just gonna, I just filled like an empty spray bottle of water. Then you swirl your spoolie. This is a blank canvas, little brush with the like spoolie and the angle. I actually don't know the name. It should like, get the hairs up on your brow. If you like a fluffy brow look, obviously, if you don't, then skip this step. I feel like a lot of people are doing more natural, like, fluffy brows now. And I just think I, I like it on my brows because it makes me look like I have more hair in my brows than I actually do compared to, like, this brow. And I do like to, like, do this and it kind of, like, brush over your hairs with your finger. It, like, sticks it down more. So that's the soap in the brows. It's really quite easy when you get used to it. Like first time I did it, I was like scared, but I've gotten used to it now because I've done it so many times. There's usually like soap on your skin and it looks weird under your makeup. I like concealer and stuff. So I get a makeup wipe. I don't use makeup wipes on my face anymore. I try not to but it's just easier to like get rid of the soap this way I'm sorry if you can hear like traffic my windows open because it's really warm today what I use to fill in my brows I use Anastasia dip brow pomade in shade dark brown with a tiny little drop of jawline just to kind of like move the product a little bit more because this one's drying up a little bit so we're just i'm just going along the bottom of my eyebrow and i'm not drawing a line in the arch of it i'm literally drawing lines like like that look like hair strokes basically and then i will draw the faintest line at the front of my brow you can't really see and get the product and like do hair strokes up so it looks like it's more full. So yeah, that's my brows on. And I don't, they don't really need a lot of cleaning up, but I like to put a bit of concealer on them. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 10. It's quite dark. But it's a nice concealer. And then I'm just taking out my P. Louise brush because it's nice and flush. It goes nice and flat. And then I'm just going under brow not too much product because we don't want to like carve it carve it we just want to like clean up so that's i don't carve out the top of my brows so next what i would do is prime so i've moisturized before like when i wash my face moisturize after so i'm using the pro base banana blur primer from MUA Cosmetics. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds and then I'm gonna put a different primer on. So now that that's been sitting for a minute, like literally, 
I'm very impatient. Um, I like to use the Flormar Double Radiant Primer. This one's well loved. I love this primer. Even though I have oily skin, I really like. Okay, actually, I should probably say that. My skin is like really oily. Like, I can have my makeup on for literally 20 minutes and my skin is already getting oily, which is really irritating. But I love glowy skin. But yeah, I just take out my finger and like dot it in the highest points of my face. So like these two places and then dab it out with my finger. So now that that's on and I'm looking quite glowy when I turn my head, like it's such a fab glow. I put a cream concealer on. This is um, a little cream concealer palette. It's a Dermacolor Camouflage Mini Palette. I have no idea how much it is. No idea where you can buy it. But I'm sure if you look up Dermacolor Camouflage Mini Palette, you could probably find it somewhere online. I'll leave a list of products down below if I can find them. And I take like a more tan colour because I will, I don't want to have a light colour on like my blemishes. So I put a tan, tanner cream concealer on my blemishes and like spots and red areas. So I'm taking the shade in this palette. It's D66 on my finger and I'm literally gonna dab it onto the areas that are red and have blemishes and stuff like that you can use your finger I like to like use my finger but then sometimes I take like a little brush like this this is really dirty please ignore that and um, this is a Zoeva 142 concealer buffer so it's actually for buffing concealer so it's actually a really nice brush so I'll just take that and like dab over the edges of where I put the concealer. So now that I've blended all that in, we're looking a bit more clear. Even though I don't mind if some of my little blemishes come through because it makes it look a bit more real then. I don't really like putting foundation on for no makeup makeup, but you could if you wanted to. I just don't like it because it's supposed to be lightweight and if you have like maybe a tinted moisturizer that would be better i just don't have one so what i use i have a foundation to open with me is i'm actually going to use the concealer i use to carve out my brows again and i'm literally just gonna put little bits of this on like the big areas of my face on my cheeks i kind of don't really need a lot on my nose so i literally put the tiniest little bit around here so now that that's all on, get your beauty blender. You can use a brush if you want, but beauty blender just gives you a more seamless, flawless look. And that's what we want when no makeup makeup because we want to look like we don't have makeup on. Just put a little bit extra in places we need it, like over my brows. And then I'll go in with a little brush to like kind of help get around the brows. I, I'm just using the same brush I was using earlier. So I'm just gonna get the concealer again and in like, you know, your spot areas, just go over. So we're just going over the, where it might have come through a little bit more red than other places. But well, it shouldn't be too red. You could leave it like it is, but I'm just gonna show you for the sake of the tutorial. Then take your little concealer brush and like barely tap like try not to go over the spot like go around the edges of the concealer if you can you can use your finger either but i just think i'm gonna use i'm just using the brush so i'm gonna do under eye concealer and eye concealer now i'm using the napla cosmetics close-up stay Close up concealer in light ivory. Get this on Beauty Bay. I feel like it's 15 euro maybe. It's very thick, but you can use it sparingly. So, for like a look like this, I won't use it loads. I literally like you don't even need loads anyway. But like, I'll literally use maybe that much, maybe a little bit more. Like, it depends how much you want to cover your under eyes. Then, I'll do it on the tip of my nose and here. 
like tiny amount I don't even want to put any there because of the concealer I put there so it's like barely any I like for a full on makeup look I'd do way more than this more than this love you more than me so I'm actually just gonna get my brush again and the concealer brush I was using and dab that in so now that that's on it's kind of very minimal but still you know glowy we're glowing because we because we've used concealer we're glowing and because of that primer we're glowing so yeah so for powder you can use any powder i am using this blank canvas palette it says o2p6 on the back no idea what that means no idea shade names I use these two mixed together that one's white so you don't need loads of that and this one's like a cream but i like a little bit lighter oh my god i nearly forgot we have to cream contour and i use maybelline fit me in 330 for cream contouring i only use this because i bought it in the shop and it literally looked tan in the shop but it's actually orange so it's a nice bronzer a little brush like this it this is a zoeva 109 lux face paint brush I use all, basically all Zoeva brushes, if you're wondering. Go in lightly with this. So you, this is so, like I don't have to go heavy with like powder bronzer because it's no makeup makeup, we don't want that. So I go in with this and blend it upwards. Make sure there's no creasing anywhere before you set and what brush i'm using is one a zoeva 114 looks face focus it's like perfect shape for under your eyes i'm popping it along under my eye and down my nose down the side of my nose i like to use this bronzer when i'm doing this look this is the carter beauty saturn palette it does say exclusive i think it might have been exclusive to chemists or pharmacies it looks like this i'm using the milky way bronzer and i'm taking this big brush from zoeva again 90 lux grand powder just getting like a bit of that dusting it in tapping it a majority of it off and just going like really gently building that color because again we don't want to put too much so i would probably leave it like that here and i go under my lip because it makes it look a little bit bigger and on my nose across my nose with the bronzer i kind of just do that all the time i don't really contour my nose i just like to look a bit warm in the middle of my face i realize now that i'm looking at this it doesn't look like a no makeup makeup this is my version of the no makeup makeup before i do blush i'm gonna do fake freckles because fake freckles make the no makeup makeup just tie it all together type of thing so for fake freckles people use powders um, and stuff like that i personally only don't like powders i just feel like they look fake on me but i use an instant tan and this has like changed the game for me i love how the fake freckles look with the instant tan on it just look because because this is a body makeup and it's the color of actual tan it's the color of your actual freckles so kind of looks like your freckles are peeping through so i take a little brush a little pointy brush tiny little brush like this this is a sun sun aura one 3100 i don't know to be honest with you i don't even squeeze it out because i don't want to waste it so i just get the little i get a bit off the thing and dot around your nose so you dot your around your nose and then just blend it out with your hand or your finger and kind of do it up here a bit so it looks like it's not just across your nose and it looks a bit weird that way so for the blush i'm going in with the same card beauty palette with the gravity blush it's a really nice pinky like i just love blush like i used to hate blush i feel like everyone used to hate blush but i started using blush and i will never look back blush just gives you so much life to your face like it really does 
I just love blush so so much. That's still sheer, but it's not like glittery sheer. I think I don't mean sheer. I mean it has like a shine to it, sheeny. Like it still kind of does, but it's not obvious. But it just gives you a nice natural glow. And you do use the Becca highlighter in this palette. This is a Chloe Malik palette. I use this little brush here and it is a, oh actually for the blush brush I use a Glam & Co. These are really old, I have no idea if they still sell them. This is Glam & Co FB20 brush, love it. It's my favourite brush, blush brush ever. Um, then for highlighter I use this Zoeva 134 Lux Powder Fusion. And then I like take a tiny bit of this. This is like really nice, this is buildable but it's like nice for everyday so we go the tiniest little bit we don't want to be like too glistening because this is a natural look i don't know why i'm looking in that mirror but this you can build this up to like be really blinding or be like that so you can't see it but then it's really cute so next for lashes i literally just use mascara for like a look like this you can wear lashes eyelashes if you would like but i just curl my eyelashes and use mascara this is the wet n wild mega volume this is actually a really nice mascara to be fair this mascara does give me a bit of volume like compared to my eyelashes so next i'm gonna do lips but i like to use a lip liner and a clear gloss or like a glittery gloss if you like i'm gonna use a clear gloss today so i'm using the inglot 63 in the 63 in it? yeah inglot 63 lip liner then i'm using the flormer clear lip gloss i don't know what the shade is oh it's actually shade wet lips this is a really nice clear gloss like really nice just gives it a nice moisturized look and it's quite natural at the same time the color is a little bit too much so i'm just gonna wipe it away a tiny bit or like dab it love that i do have this little tiny mac fix plus <laughs> it's like a sample but i don't know if it's working mm. right we got a little bit of it <laughs> so yeah that there is the finished makeup look so this is my everyday natural no makeup makeup it is more than usual for a no makeup makeup but this is just what i like and this is a natural makeup look for me and it's glowy i have oily skin but it's still glowy i just love this type of makeup look so yeah i really hope you enjoyed and if you like tutorials and stuff like this please let me know and i will do more and thank you for all the support as always it means so much to me and i shall see you in the next one bye